Hello, this is your Daily Meta for January 4th, 2016. I'm Michael Nagler here at the Meta Center. And I guess I'd like to start with a correction. I mentioned that the first version of the book Search for a Nonviolent Future was 12 years ago. It's actually 15 years ago now. Uh, and that just goes to show you, you should not trust me on numbers. Uh, to the extent that we everything that was said in that book 15 years ago is still valid, you can know that it was aimed at and just seeking to unfold the essence of nonviolence because it's the essence that doesn't change. It's the details that will always undergo creative fluctuations of one kind or another. Even between Gandhi's time and our own, there are some changes that we need to make to do an appropriate implementation of this force. So it's such an important concept, this uh, idea of what Gandhi called a living force. And he also said nonviolence is not a blind force, meaning it's not just a neutral physical force like gravity or electricity. But those are good analogies for us because the fact is that nonviolence is not just a set of actions. It's not just, um, certainly not just a moral prescription that you follow, though he used the term moral in his day a lot more than we might be inclined to do in ours. But that nonviolence is actually a force that influences minds and hearts. And we can learn to play along with that force. We can also make a mistake and try to act against it. And then it's kind of interesting to note what happens. I noted recently that in the uh, film Gatekeepers, which is about uh, six former heads of the Israeli security apparatus, the Shin Beit, they were interviewed in that film. Every one of them said that the situation is not working. Uh, they were all retired now. They were free to say that. One of them made a very interesting comment. He said, winning all the battles and losing the war. Now that immediately caught my attention because one of Gandhi's biographers, B.R. Nanda, who wrote, uh, I think one of the best brief biographies of Gandhi, uh, talked about an episode where everything seemed to go badly, but if you connect the dots and look later down the road, you'll see it was tremendously successful. And he stated as a general principle that nonviolence is the kind of thing where you can lose, lose all the battles and go on to win the war. So that's a very good way to point up the contrast of these two forces. Violence is a destructive force. Sometimes it produces results that you like in the short term, in the long term, never. And we're going to talk about that uh, very shortly. Nonviolence is exactly the opposite. It sometimes does and does not produce results that you like in the short term but it always produces benefits in the long term. So that's our daily meta for today. I would encourage you to think about the operations of forces which we cannot see. How can we understand them? How can we think about them? And as Mahatma Gandhi said, if you find this intriguing, we are all invited to join the experiment.